Well, today the bell's going to ring on round one of the fight to defend our Constitution. We're talking about the fundamental opportunity for every citizen to participate in fair and free elections. There are so many fundamental principles at stake. The right of every American to have access to the ballot. The freedom to have access to the ballot. To have elections in which billionaires cannot buy those elections. Corporations cannot buy those elections through dark money. To end gerrymandering so that we honor the vision of equal representation near and dear the heart of our Constitution. And finally, that we take on conflicts of interest so that our elected leaders serve the public, not themselves. These are principles that virtually every American supports of every party. We have three quarters of Democrats, Republicans, Independents who agree with these visions for our country. There's, this is bipartisan across the country. The only place it isn't bipartisan is this chamber right here. And why is that? Mitch McConnell is not interested in the principles of our Constitution. He's not interested in the rights of Americans. Instead, he's in a cynical power strategy saying, you know what, gerrymandering is good for my party. Billionaires buying election, that's good for my party. Blocking targeted groups in America from voting, that's good for my party. Well, it is wrong on a moral basis. It is wrong on a constitutional basis. It is wrong for America. And today, 50 of us are going to stand strong in this vision of defending our Constitution. We invite our Republican friends to join us in that defense. And I hope we'll come out here later to say we have a big surprise for you. Wouldn't that be great? But if Mitch McConnell's cynical exploitation of power stays in place, and we will go from round one to round two to round three to round four of this battle until we win in defense of the Constitution.